Yo, what's good, boys? It's your boy Zaytsma Fit. I'm here with my boy Ryan, and we are currently out here doing cardio. It is like 7 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since around 6 o'clock. Stayed up late on the phone with Jay. So, as you can see, I'm dog shit tired. Um, doing some cardio in because we're both on a cut. Try to go around for like four miles, and after this, we're going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to show y'all what I do because y'all been asking for a day of life, even though my life is shit. Um, I was expecting to do this in Texas, um, but... I don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on with Texas right now. I was supposed to meet up with JBiz yesterday. Didn't get to do that, so I'm hurt. And I was supposed to be collabing with Jack Italian soon. I just don't know too much on the details right now. Shit's going crazy. But yeah, so I'm gonna be taking y'all through what I do today and uh, some slight. All right, so we just got to the gym. I'm about to go hit some tests and tries. Uh, just took my pre, so I'm kind of waiting for that to get in right now. You already know what pre we did. We did the Tigers by by Rise. Go copy one, Kose. Um, not gonna be here for too long. Mostly gonna be content oriented. Um, I already trained chest like literally a couple days ago, but like if I change chest and tries, I'm gonna do legs tomorrow. I'm supposed to do legs today, but I didn't want to do legs for a video because I wouldn't do a fucking video because I've been trying to get my leg days a little bit tougher and trying to catch my legs up. But yeah, we're gonna get a good lift. I'm gonna take y'all basically what I'm doing for my chest and triceps. It's gonna take you because those are my best, um, my best things on my physique. So definitely train them pretty hard, a lot of volume. So yeah. <laughs> Up right now and then after we're gonna do chest so we just hit the ladder on the medial head now we're gonna move on to the long head the long head we spend a little bit more time on just because it's actually the biggest head of the tricep so tricep is the bigger key to arms so i would definitely say if you want bigger arms focus on your triceps for sure all right so we're doing weighted to really hit the rest of it. So when you do dips, like it's kind of really hitting the whole tricep in a sense. So we're gonna add a little bit of weight. It's just for a burnout. We're doing three sets of failure. So now we're pretty much done with triceps. Now we're gonna go to chest. And chest is actually gonna be a lot of high volume. But we'll probably actually come back to dips at the end. I'm not sure yet. Because when you switch up your form in the dips, one, uh, you like hit the tricep more than you hit the chest at certain um, angles. So I don't know, we're gonna see. points for better muscle mind connection and time and attention because if you're kind of doing these with like shitty form they're not really doing anything but this is a great exercise to really shape your chest and it's gonna be really kind of hitting the whole, um, whole type of chest depending on which angles you take but this is a great this is the best thing that helped me with my muscle mind connection because the more muscle mind connection you have the better overall muscle development you're gonna get so keep that in mind chest movement focus more on the upper part of the chest that's how you build a better chest um, for the last set I did uh, basically three sets of failure uh, pause reps for incline uh, just keep that time and attention keep breaking down as much fibers as much as possible um, after that if you do that shit it's gonna drain you bro I'm telling you if y'all do that tag me in that video because I'm telling you bro last set fucking do all sets of failure three three sets of failure bro pause reps bro your chest is gonna be screaming bro you already know we gotta get them turtle shells let's get it the line content been at the gym for like four fucking hours um now i'm about to go home i'm about to it's, i was gonna eat my second breakfast but i already consumed a protein shake so i still got more calories to work with i'll show y'all when i eat when i get home probably just gonna be a little small meal but i'm gonna still take y'all through my, my day not too much to do probably go back to the gym in a few hours so 
Yep. Yo, what's good fam? So I ended off the video just a little bit early yesterday because I didn't really do anything. I don't want to put out no bullshit, but I decided to fill up the rest of the video after me and Ryan got working out. I believe that's when I finished off on how to build more muscle because a lot of y'all always ask me, how can I build more muscle? What's the most optimal way? How do you do it? So I'm going to be explaining that to you in this video as best as I can. All right. So how I got a little stain on my shirt. Shit. But how to build muscle? What's the best way? Everybody's always asking me, Zay, how can I build muscle? I want to look good for the summer. So let's get into it. So when it comes to building muscle, recovery is going to be extremely important. So make sure you get enough sleep, at least seven hours. Make sure you're eating an awful amount of protein, trying to consume a gram per pound of your body weight. Also eat, eat, don't starve yourself. Make sure you're eating enough meals. Give back to your body what it's giving to you when you work out. All right, so a lot of y'all don't know what a surplus is. So you have a thing called a maintenance. It's how many calories your body's naturally gonna be burning a day. So let's say my maintenance is 2,400 calories, um, which is not what it is, but that's how many calories my body's gonna be burning no matter what I do. I can lay in bed, my body's gonna be burning 2,400 calories that day. So when you go in a slight surplus, you're gonna be eating a little bit above your maintenance calories. And that's the most optimal way to build muscle from my understanding right now. I have heard of a main gaining where you can stay at a maintenance and work out and still build muscle, but I haven't done enough research on my own to really try to get my own analogy out of it. But I do know building, uh, you can obviously build a little bit more muscle in a surplus um, from what I hear and a lot of other people think as well. So if you're a hard gainer and you have a fast metabolism, one of the best ways to do that is gonna be drinking your calories. So you wanna eat high calorie, low dense food because a lot of y'all don't wanna just eat, eat, eat all day. A lot of y'all can't do that. You're not like me, I eat a shit ton, I'm looking fat. So one of the best ways is gonna be drinking your calories. That's gonna be the most easiest way. Protein shakes is really gonna help. I'm telling you, um, they really help. So, and when it comes to eating protein, um, protein shakes, like I said, is going to really help a lot. Also, eating meat, bro. And a lot of y'all don't eat meat, and I understand it. That's okay. There's still ways. Don't worry. I'll probably make a separate video on it, so just give me some time. Uh, so, eating like steak, chicken, beef, stuff like that is really good in protein. Also, it's good in calories to help you get in that surplus. It's going to make it easier for you. Um, trust me, this stuff is, is really good for you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that's going to be one of the ways to do that as well. Now that's the nutritional part. Let's get into the working working out part. So when it comes to working out and building muscle, there's different types of training. There's strength training and what I do, some people call it different, is hypertrophy training. So hypertrophy training, uh, let's get into hypertrophy first. So hypertrophy is basically when you're building muscle tissue. You're building up muscle tissue. That's what your muscle reaches to build muscle tissue. So I do hypertrophy training. So let's get into that. I'm sticking around to eight reps as low as I go to 20 reps. It's usually around as high as I go. I don't really go above 20 reps. I'm having 60 to 90 second rest period. Um, I'm doing about four sets of 12. Usually I do around three sets of 12. That four set's gonna be a drop set to failure. So I go to sets of failure. I include sets of failure on every single one of my exercises I do. Um, I think it's so good for you. There's a lot of uh, research that says it's one of the best ways uh, to train, especially when you're kind of like, I would say around intermediate. I'm not really advanced in training yet, but I'm kind of intermediate. It's a very good way. All right, so the split I'm running right now to help me while I'm doing this is gonna be the Arnold split. So I'm doing chest and back one day, arms and shoulders the next day, and then I do legs the other day. I'm not gonna put that finger out, that's the middle finger, I love you, I'm not flicking you off. <laughs> so, basically I run that, it's basically a three day split. I repeat that split twice in one week, twice. So that means I'm hitting every single muscle group twice a week, which is how you reach full, you have a potential to reach full hypertrophy, which is gonna help you build more muscle mass in the long run. So, doing strength training can help you build muscle mass, yes it can, but hypertrophy training is gonna be the most optimal way to do so. I do around four to five movements each muscle group. So I just wanna let you know that right now. I do about four to five movements for each muscle group. Um, I include sets to failure on every single exercise, and I do around three sets to four sets on each exercise. So, like I said, I do work out my muscle groups twice a week, which is extremely good to build full hypertrophy, to, I mean, to be able to reach full hypertrophy when you're building muscle tissue. So, if you get enough recovery, your diet is good, and you're doing hypertrophy training or at least going to the gym four days a week training, you are going to see good results regardless of your genetics or not. Now, depending on genetics, it's going to depend how much uh, progress you can get and how fast you can get it. But no matter what your genetics are, if you do it, you're going to get it. If you do it correctly, you're going to get it. Basically is what I'm trying to say. 
Yes, genetics do play a big part in bodybuilding or when it comes to working out in general, but no matter what, you can achieve results. And that's all that matters. Just stay focused, stay humble, stay hungry. That's one of the best ways. Be consistent. Don't go into the gym half-assing. Like Greg said, work harder than you did last time. Go into the gym every single day wanting to improve yourself. Don't go in there and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Work. Like I said, work, man. Shit's, it, I'm telling you, it gonna pay off in the long. I used to be lazy as shit. I used to not do shit. I used to play, sit here and play fucking Fortnite, Call of Duty all day long. But I changed that. I started going to the gym. Now look at me. Now look at me. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm not doing a lot in life. No, I'm not doing that much. I'm really not. But I'm fucking blessed. I had never thought in my life I'll ever be in this situation. I just want to appreciate and thank each and every one of y'all because y'all truly blessed me. And this shit humbled me, bro. It's humbled me. It's, it, I've never been so motivated in my life. I work so hard because of y'all. So I am going to be making videos like this where I'm going to be giving you out more tips. Um, I do believe that I probably could explain this a little bit better. I just don't want to make it too long. I don't want to get too in depth with it. So if I did mess up on anything or you want me to go in more depth than anything, Type it in my Instagram, type it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as best as I can in the best way. Or I'll make another video about it separately about how to build more muscle mass, what is the best way to train, everything like that. So if you want to see me make a separate video about it alone, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely make sure I get to you. I want to try to at least up, uh, upload around two videos a week, hopefully soon. I'm still working on getting a camera. So if y'all want to help me do that, use code Zay. Uh, for 15% off of Rise and use Jose for 10% off Raw Gear. It really helps your boy out. I want to get a camera. I want to start doing this more. Hopefully, I'll be able to move soon and go to Dallas, Texas, and I'll be getting out a lot of videos. But like I said, um, my day in life is not too special. I don't really do anything too much. So I believe while I'm here in Jacksonville for the time being, obviously, I'll be doing workout videos, trying to do a little bit of day in life, doing a little vlog, shit like that. But I'm also going to be doing informational stuff about where – I, what I have learned in my journey, because we've all started somewhere, so if you don't know that much, who cares? Just do your best to learn as much as you can, um, as best as you can from great sources. Um, I spend my time throughout the day trying to learn as much as I can. Obviously, I don't know everything. I'm not perfect. I'm still learning. I'm just trying to help you all as much as I can. So, hey, man, I just want to say I love you all so much. Um, hopefully, the next video comes out. I believe I'll have another video out next week, probably Friday, next Friday or Saturday. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to fall. Uh, the IG is a tip of fit. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps out your boy. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Share the video. It really means a lot to me. Like I said, I love you guys. And I'm out.